Hello everyone, my name is PJ and welcome back to my blind let's play of Fantasy Star in the Second Master System part 15. What will probably be the last part, because I have every item in the game. And this is the only location I have found that I have not, that not explored the entirety of. But before I go in, I want to try a few things. Let's see. Let's try using all of the items that I still don't know the meaning of now. No need to use that, okay. Uh, the prism? Prism toward this guy, nothing happens, okay. Uh, nuts. Yeah, I wasn't hungry, I supposed to food back, okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. I guess we only have one option left. Buy a Malay. And like I said in the last episode, I've already got this place mostly mapped out. The only place that isn't completely mapped out is the space beyond the pit trap on the fifth floor. So let's see. I got I already got it open to my map. Miracle key. Let's do it. Okay, so first I hang a right until I reach the stairs. Oh, come on. Uh, but I might as well kill you. I mean, I have faced far worse than just two titans. Okay, so there are still a few mysteries left unraveled. Uh, when I went to Drasgow, I learned something about a floating rock in the sky. And on Motavia, I was told to use the prism to reveal something called the Dark Castle. So I'm assuming that the Dark Castle and the Flying Rock are the same thing. But I still don't know where to use the prism. All I know is that the Dark Castle has to be on Palma since this is where it was spotted. Maybe. Maybe it can traverse space. Probably not, though. Because the manual sends that the prism shows you places that no spaceship can go. Also, I'm still confused about the Sacubus encounter on Motavia. Yeah, uh, we'll probably end up having to fight the Sacubus again before the end. Okay, on the second floor, basically you just hang a left until you find the stairs. I'm probably going to keep uh, Odin's Laconian Axe on for the duration of this dungeon, because I spent a long time in this dungeon and I noticed that I typically never run into more than two enemies at a time, so it's probably more useful than the laser rifle. Except when it does less than 20 damage to something. <sighs> God damn it. Maybe I should put the rifle on. I might as well. Laser gun, whatever. Oh, no, I didn't want to use. Come on. Equip Odin. Up the stairs. Next, you hang a right until you reach the stairs. Now see, if the Laconian Axe that always did a minimum of 20 damage to anything, then it would be amazing. But Odin's attack power just isn't that high yet. My friend was telling me that I would definitely reach max level by the time I reached the end of this game. It's starting to look kind of unlikely now, but we'll see. Okay, back downstairs. Go straight until I reach the stairs. Nah, I'm running from you. Even if I can handle you, I don't like fighting titans. There's way too many hit points, way too much attack power. Also, I'm gonna try and keep my uh, two healers at low health, at, like at all times, so that when I need them to die, it takes less time. <sighs> Oh, Noah's survival, though. 
absolute 100% priority. Okay, and then when Alice falls to like 20 hit points, I'll heal her. Keep her at around 100. Okay, down to B1. Okay, looks like we make a left. And then a right. I should just stop opening treasure chests. I don't need money anymore. All they're doing is hurting me. Right, meow cure Alice. Okay, make a left here. And then a right. Okay, and from here I go straight. No? Crap, uh... No, I'm looking at the wrong map. Shit. Uh... I hang a left. I, I made left turns this whole time, right? Yeah, okay, good. Okay. Here I go straight. Come on, PJ, you mapped this place for a fucking reason. Don't screw it up now. Oh, yeah, there's no choice but to go straight on this floor. Okay, B3. Uh, I hang a left until I reach the stairs. See, I also like Palma because it seems to be way easier to run from encounters here on this planet in general than it is on fucking Desirous. Because on Desirous, I always failed to flee from combat. I don't know if that's just bad luck. It's probably just bad luck, but who knows. I really need to get out of the habit of opening treasure chests. It's just gonna get me hurt. Dungeon key. Wind is blowing my notes around. I can never run from horsemen either. Is it just because they're too fast? There seem to be certain enemies that I can't run from. Here we go, back up to B2. Hang a right. I hope, I hope I'm doing this right. Uh, I mean, I, I, sh I should be, I shouldn't be. I mean, there's no other way for me to go. Uh, let's see, uh, left then straight. The reason I was worried that I was doing this wrong is because, um, uh, I wasn't mapping, like, 100% exactly the way the game wanted me to. I was considering doors to be just barriers between adjacent spaces. But, from what I've learned, based on the spacing of some areas, I think doors count as their own spaces. So, I wasn't drawing it that way, and it was screwing up the alignment of some of my hallways. That's why sometimes hallways seem like they were running up next to each other, and they weren't. I just went upstairs. Crap, what floor am I on? I'm back on the first floor. Okay. Okay. Left. Oh, of course, it's the only place I can go. On the second floor, I go left. Third floor, I hang a right. Really? All 
Oh yeah, okay. Fourth floor. Where am I? Oh, okay. okay straight. Straight. And then left. So straight. Straight. And then left. Okay. And this is it. This is the fifth floor. There it is. That's the door I've never reached. Meow. Cast trap. Yeah, because the pitfall is right here. But don't worry. I wasn't drawing maps of this place the last time I was here. If you fall through this trap, just hang a left and you'll hit the stairs right back up to here. It, it doesn't screw you over that hard. Now, I don't know if there are any other pit traps, but I'm not worried, because I got this place mapped, and I can find my way back even if there is. It's more dungeon. Okay, I guess I gotta draw it. One, two. One, two, another door. What's the point? Okay. <laughs> uh, is this doing the same thing that one other dungeon did? Uh, yeah, the place I got the Laconian sword. It decided it was gonna be cute and just have a whole bunch of doors in a spiral. Is that what this place is doing? Yeah. What the hell? Stop it. Here we go. One, two, three. Door. One, two, three. Oh my god. Okay, is this some kind of puzzle? Like, it, it'd be cool if this was actually going, like, forever. You just wander infinitely until you decide to turn around and then boom, you're there. Now that kind of puzzle. One, two, three. Oh. God fucking damn it, there's a sixth floor. <sighs> Good thing there's space on this page. Okay, so three basement floors, six above floors. Whatever, I'm ready. What? What? Uh... Okay, um... I don't think I can actually use a Laconian pot. Uh, let's try... Crystal? No need to use it, okay. Um... Prism. Alice raises prism towards the sky. A vision of a celestial castle appear. A vision appear. Appears in the sky. What the? Oh, okay. That must be the dark castle. And do I fly to it now? Meow ate the nut of Lama. Ah, oh, you're so goddamn cute. When Meow eats the nuts of Lama, he becomes clothed in flame and emits blinding light. Holy shit! It's Kiro Barros from God Captain Sakura. <laughs> when he is visible again, he has been transformed into a beautiful winged beast. Meow flaps his wings proudly. Is he like that for the rest of the game now? Uh, what the fuck? The hell is this? Gold dragon? 
Okay, that's that's odd. Uh, if they were using D and D colors, then gold dragons are supposed to be good. Oh well, guess they're not. Okay, so uh, Alice, you attack. It only has 170 hit points. I'm not worried at all. Meow, you cast cure on yourself. Odin, you attack. Noah, you cast wind. Not that tough. Your fire breath is, isn't even an AOE, come on. Attack, I'm just gonna have everyone attack. No point in wasting MP on this thing. It can heal itself? Well, it won't do you any good. As long as I can now damage your healing. And I dodge. You're dead. What the fuck? You can't heal that much. Wait, that that's the same amount the cure heals for. Okay, there we go. In a hundred experience. Ooh, where am I? It's a town. Uh <laughs> Okay. Don't believe your own eyes in the depth. What? Okay, is this where all the useless old men come from? Because I got that same message from a different old man. In a different town. And that other one said absolutely nothing. He's the most useless of them all. Tied for useless of them all. What the hell? Now those are the governor's mansion on Basio. Just use the same sprite, I guess. Don't go against Lassic. Too late, I'm going. I got all the Laconian stuff, I got the crystal. I... okay. Random serpent. And I guess Meow doesn't retain that form. Hmm. Now, what if I left and wanted to come back? Do I still have nuts? Well, it'd be pretty, um... It'd be pretty distressing if I didn't. Although, maybe I wouldn't mind too much. <laughs> okay. I still have the nuts. So I can come back here whenever I want. The transformation is only brief. Okay, this is probably where Lassic is. Meow. He up, Alice. Everyone else seems fine. Uh, I'm gonna save too. Is this it? Is this the end of the game? Fuck. <sighs> okay. This is probably the final dungeon. And oh my god, it better not be bigger than by MLA. Start. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Hmm. One. Okay. I was getting worried there for a second. I was beginning to think there were no encounters here. And that I was worried for nothing. Okay, so still got more fighting to do. No, I don't want to open the chest. I gotta save my resources. Man, you know, if I warped out of here, I would have to travel so goddamn far to get back. I have to walk out of Palmer, through the Palmer prison, cross the fields, through the cave nearby a Malay, cross the field of lava, climb all the way up by a Malay again, and then go through this dungeon to get to wherever it was I left from. That's such a long trek. Does this just lead? Yeah, just all leads back to the beginning. One big circle. Okay, back up. Okay. There's a door right 
here. With a staircase immediately behind it. Okay, no problem. I'll just start drawing another floor. Down we go. Now, if this is the final dungeon, I was expecting it to have a unique color. Like purple or black. Or white. Anything but gold. It's really difficult to break the habit of opening chests. One, two, three, four. One, two. More stairs down. Okay. Let me check out the rest of this floor. Not that there's anything to find, but I want to make sure I know the layouts of these floors just in case it, like, takes me back up and I have to, like, you know, find my way if I fall into a pit trap. And that's the main reason I try to map these places out completely, is just to avoid getting lost from pit traps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. I'm starting to notice a pattern. These floors are nothing but big circles. Find the part of the circle where the stairs are. Okay. Through the stairs we go, then. See, that was B1. Hmm. Downstairs. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's new. Stairs down. Uh, and what's on the other side? Back up. I really hate these things. I really hate that you can't run away from them. Okay, I'm back here. One, and right turn. One, two, three, four, five. No. Oh, I could write one of these things, it doesn't matter. Five. Come on! And the enemies down here are really tough. They probably picked out the single toughest enemies in the game next to, like, fucking titans and mammoths and stuff, but they'll probably appear later. Who knows? Okay. I'm just gonna guess that this is a circle just like all of the above floors. And it's a dead end. A complete dead end. <sighs> okay. So I'm noticing all of these floors are basically the same shape. They're always the same width, west to east, but they seem to be getting shorter lengthwise. I really need to stop opening treasure chests now instead of MP. Oh, it's a good thing he's at the lowest HP because he's going to be dying next. Okay, Alice. Okay, that should be good. Back up. Okay, stairs. Okay, that was B2, so this is B3. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they're getting shorter. Now, I don't think this is any pitfalls. I don't think there will ever be a point where I have to go back upstairs. And I don't think there's any treasure just here. So, I'm just gonna go down. I will still continue to map, just in case. 
but I'm not going to try and complete the map. One, two, three, four, stairs down, then down we go. You know, it's a shame that Meow only has one piece of armor and one shield. Because if he had replacements, I could equip him with weaker stuff when I want him to die faster. I opened another chest, didn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Definitely getting shorter. Wouldn't it be funny if I just crushed the final boss? Like every other boss. I mean, so far the only difficult boss I've ever fought that wasn't fixed was the Mad Doctor in Abion. And I only had one casualty. But typically, since, the since about halfway through this playthrough, characters do not die unless I want them to. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Is this it? This probably isn't it. Oh, just to be safe, let me wander around with Meow a bit until I get him killed. Two thousand years later. Okay, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. Just, it's amazing that the toughest enemies in the game, the ones in the final dungeon, can't kill me when I want them to. I mean, I even started opening treasure chests, hoping that spears and explosions would eventually whittle me down, but what ended up doing it was I finally ran into a marauder, and I kept using the talk option, to no avail of course, until he cast thunder a few times and finished off Alice and Meow. Then I had Noah resurrect both of them. Now I got everyone healed up using mainly Alice's heals so that Meow has all of his curing for the battle. And I'm just gonna save a couple times to be safe. Hopefully, the final boss actually is behind this door, and I didn't just waste all of that time for nothing. Uh, hmm? A mad doctor? No, you're wearing a different color. I have watched all your actions. Attack me now if you dare. Shadow? Okay, there was no, uh, okay, there was absolutely no forewarning of you. Foreshadowing, that's the word I'm thinking of. And part of it's in his goddamn name and I couldn't think of it. But I have to kill you, I don't have a choice, so... You know what, before you die, let's try talking to you, because... You seem intelligent. No one... How can they not understand each other? He speaks English! Shadow is dead. I'm but only Lastic's shadow. Even if you defeat me, you've gained nothing at all. God damn it. Okay, he's dead. Not opening that. Two, three. So, there's more. Well, there was a boss. One, two, three, four, five. Why did I do that? Anyway, um... So the only item I have left to use is the crystal. No need to- okay. Hmm, when do I use that? One, two, three, four, five, six... Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I'm turning right. One, two, three. Hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's gonna take me all the way back up, isn't it? <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Can I just run from you? Yeah, I can. Okay. 
Don't know why I thought I couldn't run from you. I guess I figured since you're the most common enemy down here, that I wouldn't be able to. Oh god, yeah. Stairs up. Okay, back up to B3. One, two, three, four. Is it gonna be the same shape? Is it a mirror of the other floor? Hmm. A mirror of the other half of the floor, that is. I don't know, I guess we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a dead end. Alright. Okay, so it's not a mirror, it's an exact copy. Presumably. I really need to remember that cancel does not mean no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's not an exact copy, but it's pretty damn close. Okay, so back to B2. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if it's anything like its other half, then the stairs should just be right down the middle on the side here. Yep. But this is a really simple and easy dungeon, though. I don't even think I have to map it. But every time I say that, I end up having to map things. Okay, so that takes me back up. It should be one. Okay, now assuming that this isn't flipped, I should only have to go to my right. One, two, mm. two three. Also, oh, I can run from you. Four. I've just been getting super unlucky this whole time. Okay, and this will take us back up to the first floor. Where there's a door, just like on the first floor. Where's this gonna lead? Well, I suppose I should go down to the corner where the entrance to this whole place was. And see what's there now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Okay, so eight, I'm assuming, is the part that circles around now. So let's see what's down here. A magically sealed door. Okay, this has to be it. I mean, come on. I've essentially gone through ten floors. Or, well, more like nine floors, since I only visited B4 once. Is this it? Is this finally it? Miracle key? Here we go, okay. Ah, my children. You have done very well to come this far. You are very lucky indeed. Do you really wish to kill an old man? Uh... I just saved. I'm gonna say no, because... The game never made this clear, but the manual does, and I don't know if the manual is true or not, but he's just being controlled by that armor he's wearing that was given to him by the religious cult that he joined. I'm gonna say no. See what happens. Even now you try to fool with me, you shall repent. I have not heard this song, but I had a good feeling 
it would be a remix of the game's main theme. Okay, so we're finally here. Uh, do I use the crystal? Everyone else just attack until I see what happens in the crystal. Oh, shit. Alice uses crystal, nothing happens. What's the point of the crystal? Whatever. Uh, Alice, you attack. Meow, you cast help on Odin, why not? Actually, Alice, I think she does more damage. Odin, you attack. Noah, you cast wind. Eek. Okay, Alice, you attack. Meow, you cure Odin. Noah, you keep casting. Oh, Odin, right. Odin's turn. Uh, Noah, you cast win. Okay, BJ, come on. Pay attention. It's the final boss. Jeez. Is that his only attack is thunder? God, it's like fighting the final boss in the next game I'm going to be playing. Uh, Meow, you cure yourself. Odin, you attack. Noah, cast wind again. I mean, it shouldn't take much to finish him off. Noah's gonna die. Shit. Um. Meow, cure him, please. Odin, you attack. Noah, you eat a burger. I want to double my chances of your survival. Good. Good, good, good. Don't kill... Odin's dead. Noah's dead. Oh my god. So much for him being easy! Uh, maybe I can finish him off anyway. Now it's dead. It's all up to you, Alice. Nope. We're all dead. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So you're gonna pull a Dragon Quest on me and make the final boss a million times tougher than anything else in the game. <laughs> Okay. Good. Yeah, I am not disappointed. Thank you. Thank you for a tough final boss. Compared to everything else I've fought, this is great. Okay, let's try that again. And I'll get different uh, dialogue from him this time. Do you really wish to kill an old man? Yes. Alright. Then we will forget this as an unfortunate mistake. Okay, so let's try this again. What does everyone have? Rope? Would that even work? I don't know, let's try it. Meow, you cast help on Odin. Odin can't do anything but attack, so I might as well cast help on him first. Odin, you attack. Wait, it won't do any good, because he has the laser gun. I really should have equipped him with the axe. Okay, Meow, you cast help on... Alice instead. No, actually, no, you, you're on healing duty. You can't be attacking. Yeah, cast it on Alice. Odin, you attack. Noah, I want you to actually spam protect. There we go. The magic wall... Why does it do that? It seems like some bosses can just turn the wall off. Without my permission. Okay, Meow, you're on permanent healing duty now. Even though you can only use heal three more times. Oh, keep Noah alive. Odin, you attack. Noah. I don't know, try protect again. Maybe I just got unlucky. The magic wall. Yeah, it always disappears right before elastic attacks. That is so unfair. Okay, Alice. Attack. Meow. Uh, I can't afford to waste more of his MP casting help on people. Meow, you just attack this turn. 
Odin attack. Noah, you start spamming wind again. Okay. Alice, you attack. Meow, you cast Cure on yourself. Odin attack. Noah, spam wind. Oh. You're out of MP? Oh, I must have drained it by trying to cast Protect too many times. Uh, well, that's fine. You still have enough MP for fire. So just cast that. Did that undo any damage to Alice? Meow, you cure Odin. And that's his last cure. Odin attack. Noah, eat a burger. Uh-oh. Okay. Alice attack. Meow attack. Odin attack. Noah. Eat another burger. Come on, he's almost dead. Finish him off. Finish him off! No one gets the killing blow, of course. Lastic is killed. Lastic has died. Alice accomplished her wish. Nero is satisfied now in heaven. Hurry to the governor. Really? Uh... Okay. Flute. There you are. I don't know, I thought I would feel a bit more satisfied than that, killing him. Okay, so what do these people have to say now? Now that I've killed like Oh, is this house always inhabited by a serpent? Doesn't even drop a chest, weird. Don't go against- He's dead! Unless there was a trick. Unless that wasn't really Lassic. Hmm. Okay, well, Alice... Time to fly. It told me to go see the governor, so... That's what I'm gonna do. But I have a feeling the game isn't quite over. Okay, so... I healed up, and I restocked on burgers. I mean... Some games do this. I mean, especially the Dragon Quest games. They did do this. Like, they would have you kill the final boss, and then all of the random encounters in the world would turn off, and you could just wander around talking to people who all have different things to say, and they would all basically just congratulate you on winning, and then you go to the main character's hometown or whatever, and the game will end. But nobody's saying anything different than this, so I have a feeling the game isn't over. It'd be too weird if the whole point of going to the governor was just to activate the end credits. Okay, let's get the Land Rover out. Watch, there's probably another big-ass dungeon left. Oh, I see the random encounters are still on, so the Dragon Quest theory is false. Well, we're here. Let's go see the governor. And are these two guards still asleep? You know, that's another thing about Lassic. Uh, shouldn't all of his cronies be gone if he's dead? But no one's acting any different. Yeah, I don't think he's dead. Hmm. Alright, let's rest one more time here. What, is she giving you a massage or something? Can't tell. Anyway, let's save. It has something strange. What? Where is the governor, I wonder? What? What the fuck? Oh, shit. Um...
What is this? We're gonna learn about the succubus. Save again. Ah, of course. Hmm. There's random encounters down here. God damn it. No. If there's another boss, I want to be at my absolute best. Can I not run from red dragons? I don't think you've ever tried. Yeah, I can't run from them. If there is another boss, I should probably... equip Odin with his axe. Learned my lesson from last time. Still haven't used that crystal yet. Did I just need it in my inventory? And I'm hoping this dungeon is just a straight line. Oh, come on! Whenever the encounter rate seems to increase like this, I feel like I'm closer. So is this the final dungeon? I mean, it's kind of lame. Nothing but red dragons and straight lines. Ooh, that's new! Giant. Recolor of the Titan with way less hit points. It doesn't even do that much damage. It's single digit damage to Meow. <laughs> Not opening that. Not opening anything. Hi. <sighs> How long is this going to go? How long is this going to go on for? Okay, is this the end? <laughs> I keep asking that. Is this the end? No, this game's never going to end. <laughs> Let me just make sure everybody is perfectly topped off. And save. Miracle Key. Fuck! How much more is there? And now it forks. Uh, god damn, now I have to start drawing a map. Oh my god. Lucky for me, I don't think I have to find any treasure chests. So as soon as I find the stairs down, or the pitfall down as it were, then I can just continue. What the? It's just a big circle. Uh, I know I can run from you. I have run from five of you many times. There we go. What the hell? It's a big circle. Oh no. No, 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 Okay. So... Is it... A secret door? Uh, I knew they would bring this element back eventually. Secret wall. God. Okay, so I had to look around... 
for a door that doesn't show up on the walls. This could take a while. God damn it, the last time I had to do this, there were no random encounters. I found it! I found it! It's on the southern wall. On the southernmost wall. Somewhere in the middle. Oh my god. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. Uh, something tells me this isn't it. But I'll make a save anyway. Miracle key. Oh, shit. SHIT! The fuck is that? Dark Falls? Wait a minute. That's the Succubus! That's the face of the Succubus! And another boss theme? God, I, I didn't expect this game to have more than two. One for every battle up until now, and Lysix theme. What the hell is this thing? Well, I'm probably screwed, because I didn't heal anyone before this. Well, Alice, you just attack. Meow, you heal yourself. Odin attack, Noah spam went. Oh, is that all? Man, that is... Oh, wait, what? We've had two separate turns. It's doing the Dragon Quest thing. It gets two actions every round. But there's still only single target attacks. I'm not worried. Meow, you cure Odin. Odin attack, Noah spam went. Did that, did that do 70 damage to Odin? That did 100 damage to Odin! What? Meow, cure Odin, I guess? What can I possibly do? Is this fixed too, like the Succubus fight was? Wait. What if I have to use the crystal? Meow, you cure yourself. Odin attack. Noah, keep casting wind. Wait, he doesn't have a health bar! I just realized! Nothing happens. Okay, I think I'm supposed to die. He doesn't have a health bar. Okay, so let's just see what happens when everybody dies. Dark Falls? Hmm. That name sounds like a mistranslation, but who knows. I mean, I'm able to hit him, but it might just be misleading me. Oh, Meow's dead? Alice isn't dead, though. Alice is taking these hits like a boss. Oh, never mind. They just seem to do random damage. Okay, everyone's dead. You are all dead. Alice's hopes hope cannot overcome the power of Lassie. The adventure is over. WHAT?! So I have to kill this thing? How? It has such unbelievably unfair attacks. Well, first let's start by curing everyone to full. Let me use my burgers. Because I need powerful healing mid-combat. Hmm. Wait. Hmm. I wonder. Okay, I'm going to save again, now that I've healed everybody. 
I'm gonna try something. If it doesn't work, I'll just reset. Now, let me make my save state here too, just in case I mess up the resetting. Okay. Miracle key. I wanna try something. Okay. I'm gonna have each character use the crystal. All at the same time. Noah uses crystal and nothing happens. Odin uses crystal and nothing happens. Meow uses crystal and nothing happens. Alice uses crystal and nothing happens. Okay. So that's not it's not the way to go. Let me just load. Okay. Honestly, I thought I was pretty overleveled. I mean, I have all of the best gear in the game. All the spells. I mean... Okay. Uh, Alice, you can't really do anything useful but attack. I don't think rope will work. I doubt I can chat with this thing. And I doubt I can run away from it. So, Alice, you can't do anything but attack. Meow, you on the other hand... I have to leave on permanent cure duty. So, with 33 MP left, you can cast it five times. For now, attack. Odin, you attack. It's the only thing you can do. And Noah, you know what? Try casting protect. See, that only does six damage that time. But then it hits Meow and does almost a hundred. Invisible magic wall devices. Okay, Alice attack. Meow, cure yourself. Odin attack. Nowhere. Cast wind. Magic wall disappears. Right before his attack. Okay. Protect cannot work. So is it just luck? Do I have to get lucky and hope that his attack doesn't do much? Because it does seem to do random damage. Alice, you attack. Meow, you cure Odin. Odin attack. Noah, spam wind. I don't even know if my attacks are doing anything to it. Meow. I don't think anyone really needs cured right now, so... Just attack. Attack. Wind. Okay, both of his attacks did pretty low damage this turn. Attack, 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 wind. Okay, Noah's gonna need healed. Attack. Cure Noah. Attack. Wind. Now it's dead. Yeah, it just seems to be luck. God damn it. Meow, cure Odin. Odin's dead. Meow, cure Alice. Because Alice seems to be the one character that can resist this thing's attacks the most. Meow, cure yourself. Hopefully you actually get the chance to. Meow. Use your last cure on Alice. Don't kill Alice! Okay. That's it. I'm out of cures. All I can do now is attack. And pray. Now it's dead. The fuck do I do? Do I just need to grind? I mean, okay. Maybe there's something else I had to do. I still haven't used the crystal. I don't know if I just need it in my inventory for it to work. I don't know if I've already used it. I'm gonna look this up. I'm gonna look it up and see if there's something that I'm missing. You can't actually use the crystal. It will protect you without using it. Okay. Okay, apparently there is nothing else to do story-wise or mechanically. I just have to beat him. There's a recommended strategy. Apparently I can use help on Noah to increase the power of his wind spell. I didn't know that. I mean, I'm too used to Final Fantasy. I thought it was like 
the bravery spell. It just increases physical attack power or weapon attacks. But no, I can use help on Noah. And it also recommends using the laser gun with Odin, which I guess makes sense. It probably has really high defense. So being able to do a fixed 20 every time he attacks would probably be really good. Also, I had a really hard time finding a guide on how to beat this guy because when I searched Fantasy Star Dark Falls, I kept getting results for Fantasy Star, for Fantasy Star Online version 1, which I'm not going to be playing because the servers are down, but Dark Falls returned as the final boss of that game. I don't know. So yeah, equip that to Odin. Uh, it said to make sure everyone was fully healed, so everyone's pretty much healed. I mean, Meow is going to need to spend some MP to cast help on Noah. Hopefully this strategy actually works. Also, Alice is going to be casting fire, because apparently that's also really good. I mean, it's actually better than I've always thought it was. It probably ignores defense. That's probably it. This thing probably has crazy defense. I can't tell what its defense is because I can't see its HP. Okay, let's try this again. Anyway, Alice, spam fire, I guess. Meow, cast help on Noah. Odin, you attack with the laser gun, and Noah, you spam wind. Okay, now that Noah's been helped, Meow is now on permanent healing duty. Alice, you cast fire. Meow, you cure Noah. Odin attacks. Noah, cast wind. Ha, she dodged it. Six damage, cool. So I don't know how much more damage Wind actually does when he's helped, but we'll see. Uh, everyone's pretty good on health right now. I don't want to waste potential healing. So, Meow, you just attack for now. Fire, attack, attack, Wind. Don't attack Meow twice in a row! God fucking damn it! There's a bit of luck to this fight, too. Sometimes he'll do, like, fucking quadruple damage to the same character twice in a row. Oh well. Let's just keep going until we die. And I'm still alive, which is a miracle considering that my healer is dead. And now my main attacker is dead. This is not going well. You know, most RPGs typically have some method of healing the entire party at once. This game's never had any of that. <sighs> okay. Maybe I'll get lucky this time. Let's try again. No other preparation. Let's just try again. Because this is the final boss, and I want to beat this game today. Magic. Fire. Magic. Help. Noah. Attack. Magic. Wind. Magic, fire, magic, cure, meow, attack, magic, wind. Don't kill meow right away! What?! You attacked him... You just attacked him until he died. You didn't attack anyone else until meow was dead. And I can't cast Rise mid-combat. I don't know why. I'm getting really pissed off. This boss does not feel fair at all. Random damage. I mean, the attacking choice per round thing I can deal with, but why is he gonna do random amounts of damage between like one in a hundred? That's ridiculous. Okay. I don't know how else I can prepare. I mean... I suppose maybe I can warp out 
kill everyone to full, and maybe get down here with a bit more MP. It took me a while to find that secret door. Now that I know where it is, I can get here blickety split. So let's go get healed up. And we'll try that again. Maybe go buy some more burgers too, actually. Is there anything in my inventory that I can get rid of to make room for more burgers? Maybe toss a transfer. No, I just thought of something. Since this place sells passports, could I get another passport and not have it confiscated, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't matter now. Is there anything I can sell? I can sell the ice digger back. Yeah, I don't need it. Okay. Okay, but there's a slight problem. I don't think there are any fast food shops in this town. Maybe there are some in Uso. Let me ride down there real quick. Here we go. I have an entire page of my inventory open for burgers. Okay, I'm back at the bar store. One stupid fucking lucky magician got a thunder off in my party, but before that I was barely taking any damage. I was keeping track of how much damage I took before I ran into him. It was less than 50. Less than 50 total. Now I gotta use a burger on each character. May end up using two on... Meow. There. And I didn't spend a single magic point. Everyone is full on MP. Didn't even cast the buy spell. I, I was lucky enough to actually run from most encounters. This time I'm gonna make a save state here. So that I can load it real quick if it looks like it's gonna be hopeless. Let's go again. Fire. Help Noah. Attack. Wind. Eighty damage with your first attack. Uh, fire. Cure Noah. Attack. Wind. Fire, cure Alice, attack, wind. Okay, attack, no, no, fire, cure. Who's more important, the biggest damage dealer or the healer? The healer. Okay, nobody died. Fire. Cure Noah. Attack. Wind. Don't kill Noah! Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Fire. Cure Noah. Attack. Wind. Does anyone know how much health this thing has? Fire, cure Noah, attack, wind. Not always oh, out of MP for wind. Then cast fire. Ah, the bo she's out of MP for fire too. Ah, uh, then you attack. Meow. 
Oh god! I'm gonna have MP all across the board. So anyone I can help, I don't have enough MP for help. Wall? I don't have enough MP for anything. Attack. Odin. Attack. Everyone just start attacking. I have to be close. I did it! No one! Dark Falls is killed. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Now what? I'm sorry. I must have been possessed body and soul by evil. You rescued our world just in the nick of time. If you had come any later, it might have been too late. We all thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Alice, your father was once king of Algol. The Dark Castle has been destroyed, Lassic killed. Do you, Alice, wish to ascend your father's throne and become the Queen of Algol? Hell yeah! Then you are the very queen of the entire solar system. I will assist you in all ways possible. So what was that thing? The sky gradually clears. And the pieces returned to the Algo system. A gentle breeze caresses by a Malay. But does the breeze know of the hardships that they endured? No, of course not. It's a breeze. Even though the memories of evil fade away, their names will be kept in the hearts of the people of the Algo forever. What the fuck? Oh! Oh, that is so cool! <laughs> A sail? Wait, what? This? Story by April Fool. Are these jokes? Is this like the fucking Castlevania credits? This Arceo again. Alex Arceo was the name of that guy that Demora said we were looking for. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. This has got to be the coolest credit sequence I have ever seen in an 8-bit game. <laughs> Wait, one of the designers was named Meow? But, you know, now that the credits bring it up, you, you, you think it would have been a cool at some point for there to be a dungeon where the different floors were different colors? It would definitely help you keep track of where you were. Okay, uh... The ending was kind of awkward. Still have no idea what Dark Falls is. But, becoming queen of the entire solar system, and this ending credit sequence, oh, that made it all worth it. Oh, oh that was so cool. Okay. So, that was Fantasy Star. I loved how difficult the final bosses were. Uh, still wish I knew more of the story, but there are sequels. Fantasy Stars 2, 3, and 4, all in the Sega Genesis. And I think these characters reappear in them. I'm not entirely certain. I, I tend to see bits and pieces of the other games when I'm searching up stuff about this one. 
But yeah, Fantasy Star 2 will now start appearing in the polls. So if you want to see me play the sequel, then you'll go vote for it, right? <laughs> so, Fantasy Star. Uh, it's a very open-ended game. You can probably do a lot of this game in any order you want. You can get the Laconian Axe super early, like before even the halfway point of the game. Uh, you can get all four of your party members way earlier than I did. I was just being a dumbass. Uh, and something tells me that there are secrets that I did not find. In fact, before I end this episode, uh, let me go see if there are any other uh, secrets that I missed out on. Well, there is a recolor of the uh, Titans and Giants. It's uh, dark brown in color called the Golem. I never ran into that. Yeah, and I fought all of the bosses that are available in the game, too. The Black Dragon, Dark Falls, Dr. Med, the Gold Dragon, Lassic, Medusa, the Succubus, which, yeah, the face is the same. <laughs> the Shadow, and uh, Noah's Master, whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, let's see, what else? Okay, so apparently, maximum level in this game is 30. It's... Yeah, I, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like any characters would have learned any spells past what I already learned for them. Uh, but man, uh... Their hit points just do not get very high. Like, starting at level 25, Noah only gets one extra hit point per level. And the most MP he can have is 83. That's pretty shitty. Let's see, what else? Oh, and if you were wondering, uh, it takes 63,000 XP to get Alice to max level. She requires the most. And she gets 218 hit points, 32 MP, 56, 56 base attack, and 120 base defense. Wow, really? Apparently, there are some dungeons in this game that have more of those false walls. Like the doors and stuff. Like the one in the prison, the one in the final dungeon. Yeah, there, I knew there had to be more of them. But all they lead to are treasure chests with tons of mesetas. They probably would have helped, but I didn't really need them in the long run. That's fine. As long as there are no characters or cutscenes that I'm missing out on, I'm perfectly fine with this playthrough. So that's it. Fantasy Star is done. So, the next game I'm going to be playing is Final Fantasy 3 on the Famicom. After that, I'll be playing for I'll be playing whatever game won the poll that's currently going on. So, if you haven't voted yet, go vote. I'll be reminding you at the beginning of my Final Fantasy 3 Let's Play, which will start on Sunday. So, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this Let's Play, leave a like. I'm still just starting out and every like means a lot to me. And if you want to be notified when I upload more videos, subscribe when you will. And if you want to support me on Patreon, there'll be an end card at the end of the video and a link in the description below. So, I'll see you all in the next video. Dating start. Hey, hey wait. wait. <laughs> Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop. Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> you have been playing a bit too much Gangudo, girl.